Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A video, so some of you guys have sent in some very interesting questions about the upcoming season. Also, we have some Arrow news, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, if you missed out on any of my recent videos over the last couple of days, go check them out. I did a Supergirl review also did a flash video on the crossover so please check them out if you haven't and uh, we are pretty much back to normal uploads hopefully from now on so stick around and stay tuned we're obviously gonna have a lot of good content for you guys but first things first we need to talk about this arrow news so it came out literally like I don't know a day or so ago but Stephen Amell who left arrow and obviously arrow ended has actually talked about Arrow, and so this was reported from comicbook.com. It is actually from Michael Rosenbaum, you know, the guy that played Lex Luthor on Smallville on his podcast, and on there he actually talked about him potentially returning and being open to return to the role of Oliver Queen if the opportunity arose, and in particular the actor said he thinks a limited series on Netflix or HBO Max would be amazing. So this is his full quote from that interview. So, if I had been approached, I wouldn't say, but I have not. I was thinking about this question as I drove here, and if the opportunity ever came up to do a six to eight episodes of Arrow as like a limited series on Netflix or HBO Max, or something like that, or on the CW, as the case may be, I think it would be amazing. So this is very, very nice to hear, and it's very reassuring for Arrow fans. Obviously, we know that Steven was super into playing Oliver Queen and the Green Arrow, and, you know, he did it for so many years, like, a long last time. And so it's very natural that people want to move on, and so I totally respect him moving on. However, it is very nice, as I just said, that he is up for maybe coming back, whether that be crossovers or not, obviously he doesn't talk about that here, but I presume that is also in the page. But a continuation of Arrow in like a limited series would be something that I would love. It just sounds like a great idea, like what happens if these actors on shows that aren't going on anymore, what happens if they want to do like a short like mini series? Like, what happens if Supergirl comes back for, like, a miniseries with Melissa? I think the actors will be more down to do that than to sign contracts for, like, many seasons. So, I do think this is a great model for maybe returning shows to come back. And, yeah, so, it's obvious that HBO Max is a big thing right now. And, you know, we have Superman and Lois, which also airs on it. And, you know, you have Titans and lots of other shows that are on HBO Max that are DC related. So it makes sense that Arrow could potentially go there if they ever did return. But he hasn't been offered anything right now. But with him bringing it up, there's bound to be conversations like, how can we revive Arrow, but like not have to do it for many seasons? Let's just do a limited series or something. And so I have faith. I'm not saying it's happening, it's like a 1 in 100 chance maybe that it happens, so it's very unlikely. However, it would be awesome if it did happen. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. This is in regards to Flash Season 8 and its villain. So there was an interview with TV Line, where it's more of like a kind of scoop article, and there is an interesting bit that they talk about the Flash, so the question is, anything on the Flash villains for after the Armageddon aliens. And so it goes like this. Well, as previously reported, showrunner Eric Wallace told me that one of the upcoming nemesises will be the biggest and most powerful villain in The Flash has yet faced and would appear quite early on in season eight. So he's obviously talking about the villain after Armageddon and after Despero. Definitely the villain of the first half of the season, which is going to be much more than normal due to the five part episode at the start with a completely different villain. And so it goes on to say this, so maybe he was referring to the five part Armageddon event, but I will now also share that Eric Wallace teased another new villain that will force Team Flash to face their morality in a highly personal and ultimately terrifying way. So it seems that whoever this villain turns out to be who is extremely personal for Iris and Barry, they're definitely going to be showing up pretty early on in the season, 
I guess there's a chance that they could show up and be introduced in the crossover event, but it's more than likely that they're probably going to show up in episode 6. And so who might this villain be? As we previously have discussed many times, it's probably going to be Cobalt Blue, that is the most personal villain. If it turns out to be Eddie Thorne himself, I think that that is probably the only way it's going to be super personal. And obviously Reverse Flash is very personal for Barry and Iris, however, it isn't that terrifying, but it might be terrifying to see Eddie come back and be someone completely different. Like, that would be absolutely scary. So, I'm still rooting for Cobalt Blue. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so I have some questions for you guys that I want to answer at the end of this video right now. So, from Chosen Vader Owner on YouTube, who asks... Do you think Bloodwork will become Red Death in the Flash Season 8 or 9? So again, this has been something like Cobalt Blue that lots of people have been theorizing about for a long time since Season 5 when he was referenced in the future with Nora. And so people have been expecting him ever since. If he does appear, most likely, as I said before, probably not going to be Batman and it will probably be like a new reworked version of the character. So it won't have to be like bat related, it could be like anyone who gets speed and just becomes Red Death, right? And so, blood work in terms of your question, like could blood work become Red Death? Yes, there's a chance. I think there's a chance for anyone to become Red Death, quite frankly, if they want to do Red Death. Because they're not going to include Batman, as I said. However, blood work is a good guess, considering that he is pretty evil already, and I don't think he would have much of a problem like going around having speed killing a bunch of people doing what you want like it's going to be a blessing for him in a very twisted way okay so eric on youtube asks will atlantis appear in the arrowverse this has been referenced before i believe in the pilot episode of the flash joe actually referenced atlantis and the city and like a walking talking fish man or something i forgot what they specifically said However, it has been talked about before, and it's been referenced, like, even Cisco last season went to Atlantis to do some research. But, is Atlantis actually going to show up in the Arrowverse? I don't know how likely it is, because Atlantis is obviously a big thing in the DCEU right now. Like, if you look at what they are doing, they've just started shooting the next Aquaman film. They're going to be, you know, down there and everything, so... It's all going to be very busy and it's going to be very Atlantis centric in the DCU still. So I think it's actually very unlikely that we're going to see Atlantis fully in the Arrowverse. I think we'll continue to get actual, you know, teasers and like hints towards Atlantis. But I don't think the real place is going to actually show up. Okay, so let's move on to the next topic that you guys have brought up another question comes from rbs on youtube who writes which episode of the flash season 8 will superman appear in now i've been getting a surprising amount of questions regarding this obviously rbs sent this in before the announcement to do with who is showing up in the crossover but i wanted to bring it up here because yes superman isn't going to be showing up however there is still a chance that maybe later on in the season there is some sort of crossover Obviously, this is very early days. Superman Lois needs to get going with season two. They're going to be returning, like, I think about this week, maybe, or maybe they've already started. And so they're working on season two. But you guys remember they had big delays last year because it takes them a bit longer to film just due to, you know, their process. And it seems like they probably have no time to get Tyler on the other set. So when things maybe calm down a bit maybe we could see a crossover between the flash and superman but right now it seems like it's probably not gonna happen for a while but that about does it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new all of this really does help out get the video out there to people to see i apologize once again for not being able to upload much recently i am still away in venice and i'm at the film festival so it's pretty hard i get back pretty late however i am committed to continually uploading hopefully daily from today onwards because it's a little bit less busy here but 
For now, please be sure to just watch all my videos, come back every day, refresh, turn on notifications if you want to get an announcement as soon as it goes up. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.